Good morning, Pisces. Good morning. I hope you guys had a good night's sleep. I hope you woke up today feeling happy, safe, and peaceful. Thank you to everyone that has liked, commented, subscribed, and gave donations. All right, Pisciano's happy. What is today? Wednesday? I don't know the day. I think it's one. I don't know what day. It could be Thursday. I don't know. All right, Pisces, we're going to pull three of these. This is and that's the T. We also got the 10 of swords at the bottom. Spirit. Angels. Ooh. I'm like, ooh. Ancestors. And higher beings. Please help me with this message today. For my beautiful pipe sees people. My Piscianos, what messages do we have for Pisces? We got you will win in the end. Karma is a biatch. You know, I can't curse here because of my trolls. And self obsessed. Uh, numbers 43, 39, and 3. We also got 10 of swords here at the bottom. I'm hearing that song uh, by Justin Bieber. And if you like the way you look that much, oh baby, you should go and love yourself. Yes. Um, and if you think that I'm still holding on, oh baby, you should go and love yourself. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, it's getting there, the voice. It's getting there. All right. I feel like there was, I do feel some form of competition. I'm going to keep it real with you. Like somebody, you know, wanted to be on some form of stardom or some type of, you know, like they, they're attention seeking. You know, somebody is very attention seeking here with that self-obsessed. It's one thing to be self-obsessed when it's about your, you know, your health, your appearance, um, your goals in life. It's another thing to do it just because you want attention, right? And that's how I'm feeling this person. This person was trying to get some form of stardom, some type of come up is the feeling. Like they wanted to come up. Um, they may be very like superficial, very much into their appearance, what they wear, how they do their hair. They may have, um, you know, a lot of surgeries. Who knows? It doesn't matter. But it only matters, Pisces, when when um, that's all you have going on for yourself is just like you don't you may not even have talent in something. You may not even have a good heart in a situation, you know, and I, I just feel this character here that was doing a lot of things for the views, for the clout, for um, the recognition, for the fame, Pisces. Um, but anyway, um, I do have you will win in the end. I also feel, wait, one more thing. I also feel that this is, this could be a few people. It doesn't have to just be one person in your life. You may be surrounded by people who are in it for, you know, the recognition. They don't, they're not in it because they, they, you know, they love, they love it type of energy. Um, there's something about you that you, you stay true to. This could be about work as well. Yes, I'm feeling it. Like, for example, like, you know, you love what you do for a living. You're in it for the right reasons. You do it for the love of it. And there are some people that do it for the credibility of it because they get something out of it. They get people to do stuff for them. They get a lot of attention. People um, start giving them things, you know. And it's it's whatever, Pisces, but that's what I'm picking up here. I do have karma is a biatch. This is in the challenge position. I think you always knew that this person um, who's self-absorbed or self-obsessed is going to receive some form of karma. Why it's in the challenge position. Y'all got me. Hold on. 
Let's see, why is this in the challenge? I think it was difficult because a lot of times this person made a lot of noise. I think they they try maybe they tried you online pisces i'm seeing that phone i just keep gravitating towards the phone like i don't know maybe they poked at you online and you know and maybe you wanted to poke back maybe you did and maybe you didn't at times this is what i'm feeling you know how that is like i'm not an online person but i am feeling the energy here um it doesn't have to even be online let's say it's a work thing right and you have somebody that that was very competitive with you at work and they tried you you know, they try to compete with you. They try to, you know, sleep with the bosses, you know, um, do things that were very underhanded in order to receive more attention than you. They were obsessed with you. They were obsessed with competing with you, with being some form of better than you. And I feel like, okay, like this person feels to me a little bit more natural than this person i don't know it could just be like the dress being so done up the really light hair no shade to the, my beautiful blondes out there it is gorgeous um no shade but i do feel like where it's an energy you know like where you did it for the right reasons you did something for the right reasons now if this has nothing to do with work this could also be with love this could also be with family like you were in it for the right reasons whereas someone was looking for the credibility they were looking for the attention for the clout of it or of saying oh you're a good person Oh, you know, you're you're this thing, you know, like that's what they were looking for. Whereas you did it straight from the heart. And that's why you're going to win in this in the end is what I'm getting. But let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. See what are we talking about with this. Spirit, tell me more. Page of Wands. Three of Swords. I think with that song, I'm sorry, Ace of Swords and Five of Pentacles. Okay, so I felt with that song that it's like there's someone that's going to accuse you of being them. It's a form of projection, you know, like, oh, you're doing this for the attention. You're doing this for the clout. You're doing this for... You know, so people can, you know, uh, praise you or make you feel like the good one, whatever. You know, that's what I'm getting. And it's like you're just as a angry at me and that I am with you is the feeling. Give me one moment. It's that song, oh, baby, you should go and love yourself. So there's somebody here that is going to think that you're still holding on to them in some way they're gonna feel like you're the one that's still holding on to them or that you're still holding on to something but you know why because something in their life is going to happen five of pentacles there um where it's almost like their life is kind of going to get snatched or taken away from them that is that karma is a biatch pisces like whatever they built i'm gonna give you an example this was very shady and i think i'm getting it because of this image i'm sorry i'm trying to stay grounded but my boyfriend went to home goods yesterday and this is a very low level it's just an example and he found this beautiful i've been looking for a centerpiece for my dining room table you know the, whatever it's not an issue but and he found something very beautiful it was in a beautiful vase it was fake flowers but it's it was such an arrangement of them it was so gorgeous you know I, you know how home goods is it's like sometimes they just have that one right so he puts it in the cart and he goes shopping and he turns his back and he looks at something and then he goes back to his cart someone took it out right of his cart they left all the other stuff and took that thing right out of his cart so you know he called me and he told me they took it out of my cart i'm gonna go talk to someone and blah, blah, blah. And i'm just like it's fine it's, it's it's not a big deal you know they're they're putting because they stole from you even though they didn't they're not gonna see it that way but because they stole from you and they're gonna put it in the centerpiece and they're gonna put it in their house is going to bring them bad luck sooner or later that's how you build negative karma that's how you build bad karma because someone stole from you in order to prop themselves up 
So this could be that they stole an idea from you, they stole something from you. Um, in order to receive this clout, this fame, this recognition, they may have tried to copy your behaviors. If you're like, let's just say like a musician, they want to be a musician too. You know, it's like, it's not real. It wasn't genuine. It wasn't sincere. It didn't come to you because you had a God given talent or, you know, for a voice or something like that. It came because you saw what I was doing, a person that you disliked and you had to be better than me. And that's what I'm getting there, Pisces. So I do feel like there's someone here that is going to get snatched up. All that money, all that stuff that they made because they stole something, because they took something from you, it don't last forever. So that's what I'm getting. All right, Page of Wands, Three of Swords, Ace of Swords, Five of Pentacles. You have a natural sexiness. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> Come to me. I like it. You have a natural sexiness. Um, one that... You have a different look to you. I will give you this. I don't know what this is. There's a different look about you. I don't know if it's your face, your hair, the way you dress. I, I feel like it's more like not what's on your body, but how you look. You know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And when someone finds you beautiful on the inside and outside, that can make the most sexiest thing ever. Like a person can just become, wow, wow. <laughs> and I felt the eyes bug out of my head. I don't know what that means. Wow. And I don't know how to explain this. <laughs> You don't have to try so hard. You don't have to do, I guess, um, you know, we live in a time where a lot of people kind of look the same now. I don't know. And I'm not shading or judging these people, you know, but sometimes they overdo it and then they forget that that their spirit and their soul is also beautiful. It, it, it's a two way thing. Like you can't have just the outside be beautiful because your insides could be ugly. And next thing you know, you're just ugly. Nobody wants to be around you. Nobody wants to deal with you. Nobody wants to talk to you. I don't care how, you know, big every your butt is or your boobs are. I don't care how, you know, um, how much you've worked out and you're, you know, you're, uh, you're like a, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if your insides are ugly, people will run from you. They won't want to spend time with you. And that's what I'm getting. They're, mm -mm, they're going to run away from the situation. So you could fake it. There is that thing, fake it till you make it right. And in some cases that does work, but at the end of the day, it comes down to talent and what you actually have. And that's what I'm getting there. All right, we got the Ace of Swords here. I think there was a time, Pisces, where you weren't so awake or alert and you didn't, you, you may have kind of fallen in some way, Pisces, to someone's, um, like, I felt somebody antagonizing you online or I felt like somebody was trying to, you know, be better than you or something like that. And I don't know how to explain this, guys, but it's it's almost like you it doesn't have to just be online. It's on a platform. It could be at work. Who knows? You received a lot of clarity from that. I think when you saw this person and the way that they were behaving, it taught you who you didn't want to be and how you didn't want to look and how you didn't want to act. So it did you did receive a lot of clarity from just watching this person's behavior and seeing how um, they're just they're not in it for the right reasons. And this could be in a love relationship too, Pisces, like maybe you were in a relationship and you saw that someone was more into it for the appearance or just because they wanted to say they were in a relationship and then you but you didn't have no deep connection with them, you know, like. You guys couldn't vibe. You guys couldn't really talk about things. You know, they were lying. There was, and then you're like, why do I want this? Like, this is fake. Like, I don't want this. I'd rather be alone than unhappy type of feeling, you know? So I think there was a huge realization for you on what it is that you really want out of life. You know, there's a lot of people in this world that have a lot of money and they can get the best looking girl, the best looking guy, you know, but I don't feel like that's what you're doing. Like you need somebody with substance. You need somebody that's deep. You don't need somebody that's like a facade. And that's basically what I'm getting. Or a clout chaser or a social climber. They may have tried to be climbing for some type of social, you know, 
come up. All right, let's go deeper. The Magician. Mm -hmm. Five of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Ooh, Page of Swords. So here's my thing, Pisces. <clears throat> For some of you, you may have questioned the faithfulness of this person. If anything resonates here with you, I do feel like that might have been a potential issue. I think, I don't think this person, I think this person found validation by other people paying attention to them. You know, they needed that for their ego, probably, but they needed that validation. They needed to feel like I still got it or I got it or, you know, I can do what in their mind they think is better, you know, but for that moment, because we're going to see them here get a big loss and a big hit. You know, I'll give you another example and I don't know why this is coming up, but let's say you were in a relationship and someone you break up with this person and next thing you know, you find out that they're dating someone that has a lot of money. Right. And then you realize like, oh, crap, they just we're not together because they're trying to be with that person that has a lot of money. And next thing you know, somebody finds themselves very broke. Like they tried to find something better in their minds at that moment. And it turned out to be a lot worse. Here's Page of Swords here. Um, Page of Swords a lot of times is, I don't know if you could see this. It's like, it's like looking deeper into a situation. Like in the picture, it's like a peephole. Like you see something, you're looking into a peephole. It is the very Snoopy energy as well, Page of Swords. And I just feel like this person is going to look like, an idiot Pisces that's what I'm feeling like they're going to look like an idiot they may make a lot of financial bad decisions and I think they got fixated on the the come up of it the possibility of it and next thing you know when it's all gone that's when they're going to take a look and see oh wow, I made a lot of dumb choices with my finances and now I'm left with nothing and now somebody else took it all in some way. That's what I'm getting there. All right, got the magician. You're just gonna get more and more attractive and it's not to say that you found the fountain of youth. It's not saying that. It's just that your spirit is evolving. Your spirit is growing. And it's becoming sexy. There's some older women or older men that are very sexy still. Why? Because they exude confidence. They exude, they know who they are and they know what they want. There is nothing sexier than a person that knows what they want, whether it's in the bedroom or outside of the bedroom. And this is what I'm getting from you, an evolution of, you know, what sexy is, what it looks like and what it ain't. All right. We got the three of swords and the five of swords. And this person will find out. They fell under some type of, um, and this could be them as well. I'm not sure. I do have the three there as well. Um, this could be them as well too, Pisces. I don't know. It's just energy. So take it how it resonates. All right. Let me see. Three of swords and the five of swords. Somebody's going to be butt hurt. That's what I just heard. They're going to be very butt hurt. Oh, there's a three of swords too. I'm sorry. There's a lot of threes here. This person needed a lot of attention and a lot of validation from others. They weren't secure within themselves. You know what this person's going to feel? They competed with you. They tried to one up you. They tried to um, create this thing where they're winning in life. And you quietly went your own path in your own direction. Yes, it was painful. I do feel that energy. But it's also the place where you found yourself and you started feeling your best. And what's going to happen is they're going to realize they played themselves, Pisces. That's what's going to feel. The feeling is with that five of swords. Like, 
I was playing around with you, trying to make you cry. I was trying to make you feel bad. Whether it was these internet games or whatever this is. But somehow, karma came and collected. And they're going to have that realization, I promise you. I see it very clear here. I will guarantee you. Whether they share that with you, I don't know. But they will sit there one day and realize that they play these, I'm going to call it internet games. You know, my boyfriend calls it reindeer games. But I do feel something here about, you know, who's more successful, who's, you know, whatever, all this. And it's like, and they didn't care how you were feeling. They didn't, they forgot about the love that you guys had together. They, you know, they, they, they lost themselves. They lost themselves, Pisces, in this whole process of trying to be, you know, attractive and obtain other people. And I still got it. And, you know, they lost themselves. And one day they will sit there broke. Thinking about how did this happen to me? And they will realize I did this. I hurt myself. They made you walk right into a happier path whereas they put themselves in a dire situation with the page of pentacles i also feel like other people will be up their butts somehow like they're going to be questioning them a lot about how you let this happen and they're not going to be able to shake these people i don't know if these are your parents or people that they work for like you know they may have done some weird activity in order to achieve this type of fame but I do feel like where they're going to be investigated, there's something here about a taking a closer look into this person and what happened with the finances. So I don't know what that means exactly. But all right, we do have the three of pentacles with the ace of swords. You know what's beautiful though? In this path, like somebody egged you, somebody pushed you and you went, you said, you know what? I'm playing here. I'm going to go this way. Something happened, and I'm seeing it here with this Three of Pentacles. It's like you started collaborating or you started working with other people or other people started cooperating with you and you came up with some new ideas, some fresh ideas. Um, I do feel the energy, Pisces, where you will receive some type of award. You will win in the end. There's a celebration that's happening here. So I don't know if, let's say, for example, this is a coworker, somebody that you worked with. And this person was only in it for themselves, only in it for the appearance. They weren't in it to genuinely help. But then you meet people who really wanted to make a difference in your work area and you start coming up with some bright ideas and you start piecing it together and you start headed in that direction. And I feel like some type of recognition will happen because of it. All right, let's see what the out. Oh, I never did Ten of Swords. Hold on. Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. See, Ten of Swords, a lot of times Pisces is a person that's laying on the ground and they have all these knives on their back. I mean, you took, took, and took. I don't know if it was solely through the internet or if it was like personal face-to-face. -face. Like you took a lot of hits from this person. Like they were trying to destroy you. And in a way they did, but all they did was, there's the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is a turn of events, a change of events, a good fortune. Good fortune started coming towards you, Pisces. So it's like the more they stuck knives into you, the more that they tried to uh, put you on blast. Like then there's a stage, like somebody tried to put you on blast. They tried to put you on a situation where you were going to look hurt or look bad in front of other people. And all it did was change up and send the wheels of karma in your direction for good luck is what I'm feeling. I don't know. There's something here about you looking amazing. Like, and I don't know what that is exactly. I don't know if you're going somewhere, you're receiving some type of accolades, but you're going to look amazing. The star of the night or something like that. All right, spirit, what is the outcome? Strength, yes. Five of cups. I'm not saying that everything goes away, but what I will say is that God, you're sexy. Why does that keep coming up? Like, I don't even understand it. It's like, there's something about you. I think this person is going to be even more understanding what the definition of sexy is. Remember when I said that this person, 
is kind of like going to take a look at themselves and how do they land themselves in this situation. Other people will also be micro watching, like my, watching them and seeing like, well, you did this wrong. First thing you did wrong was let that good one go. That good one was the sexiest thing that you've ever had. That good one that you had there had everything going for them and you picked something else or not unless say this is an example because I don't really know what the scenario is it's all energy Pisces does it hurt yes it's it but I, I just feel like this energy of there's always going to be something that you regret about that time maybe you did engage at a certain point it is what it is Pisces you did learn from it you did develop more self-control Oh, Pisces, you're going to develop a lot more self-control when it has when it has to do with that emotional pain that you're dealing with. I think something's going to click inside of you where you're going to realize that I'm going to start heading in a direction where I can I can actually win because that's a losing battle. Whatever this is here, that's a losing battle. They need to lose all by themselves. There was something that I heard and it's coming to mind. Toxic people deserve other toxic people. And then they'll get it. And that's what I'm kind of getting you understanding here. All right. What is the advice? Four of wands. And the eight of wands. I think a lot of you are going to be searching for some type of new home or a move or maybe a vacation. Or this is what it's saying. Like sometimes a, a new home Um Sometimes, you know, a move, some type of movement could be above job as well, could be very refreshing for you. Like, I feel like you accomplishing something in one area of your life and, and it's like it's time for the next area now. So when you feel some of these energies, Pisces, your advice here is to move on to that next thing, to move. There is a, a, a um, something else that you wanted to do or somewhere else that you want to go. And it's saying to go like there's a direct there's like a, it looks like a vortex to me, right? Like, like go in Pisces, because this isn't the end of your success. There's more success to be made and had, but this is just in a different area or a different home is what I'm getting. All right, uh, let's do career and money. When you move, things are going to start moving very quickly. And I don't mean this as a, it could be a physical move or this could just be like a new job. Things will start moving very quickly for you. It's going to feel like a time warp, like a flash, like like everything is just headed, like very is moving down very quickly. So um, you're going to leave these people in the dust is the feeling. Spirit, tell me more. Selling. Growth. Some of you are going to have a business that like you sell something and it's going to start taking off. That's what I'm getting. Like something that you sell, something that you, you, you create in some way, or it doesn't have to be, but it's some type of business that's going to start growing. You're going to be starting receiving more, um, more, more offers. Like they want more of the product that you're trying to um, sell. This can be like a bigger company that wants to buy whatever it is that you're trying to sell. So you may need to know how to expand in your business or how to grow it in order to sell it more. Like you may need a higher platform of some sorts is what I'm getting. Somebody may need to want to hire you so that you could sell what you what you have in their place. So that the challenge here is the growth. It's like how quickly can you produce? How quickly can you make? So you may need a higher platform as well in order to sell more. That's what I'm getting here. All right, let's do the Oshos. Some of you may want to yeah, do some type of business that's on your own, that's selling your own products. I think you're seeing an opportunity or a window of an opportunity for it. This could be online because I keep feeling that phone, but I don't know. Spirit, tell me more. Clinging to the past. Silence in reverse. 
ordinariness. And I do have consciousness here at the bottom. This is what I instantly felt. Someone's going to bump their head and not make the best judgments for themselves. How are they going to do that? They're going to be so stuck in, you know, not, I don't know, whatever it is that they did, all the mess ups that they have, that their mind is going to be so convoluted with all of the, the, the things that they didn't do right, that they're going to break their silence with you in some way. They're going to actually reach out to you and try to communicate to you about the situation. And, you know, they're going to look at your life of ordinariness in their minds. They're going to think it's ordinary, you know, because it was supposed to be grander or, you know, whatever they were trying to achieve here was supposed to be bigger. And they're going to see your your thing of ordinariness and they're going to come to you for some type of maybe emotional stability. I know what you guys are going to do. A lot of you are going to reject this person. I know you will. Because you're not going to want a person who is stuck in a time warp or in a time in a certain time or era that you've been. I felt you leaving people in the dust. Now, this is a friend or a family member. Um, I do feel, Pisces, that you will be the person that people reach out to for a sense of normalcy, of being normal again is the feeling. Um, it's like they got lost by all the glitter. They got lost by all the fame. They got lost by, you know, the clouds and, you know, whatever that is. And then they come back to a more simpler time or they come back to a more time where they felt more like themselves. And that's going to be you, Pisces. And of course, it is your decision what you do with that person at that time. But people will look to you to feel normal again. All right, Pisces, I hope you like the reading. Please like and subscribe and thank you.